With that said, let's get off the NFL for just a minute. Let's talk about our great state of Mississippi here. And I can proudly say that right now. I don't know that I could have said that before. But I'm a, I'm a little proud right now. The state legislature in the state of Mississippi voted to change the state flag. And neither you nor myself thought that it was going to happen. Because we, we've been here for too long and we've seen this crap happen for too long. And I know the people involved in in the in the politics of it. I yeah. I know the people who run our state, and I don't I don't trust them to ever make a good decision because history says they've never made a good decision. Yeah, it's it's really strange to see. However, I am glad. You know, we I'm talked glad. last I'm week. I was, I was I, listen. I I love being wrong when it comes to stuff like this. I would I would love to be more wrong more often. Yes, a hundred percent. Because I just don't believe in people half the time. It, it's strange. They needed two-thirds of the vote in the House, and then they needed, uh, what, the same in uh, in the Senate. Yep. And they got both of them. So right now, they are going to vote on a new flag, but the vote will not be between the old flag and a new flag. The It'll vote be will be... Two options, right? Well, it, it will be one option to start with. It is, do you like this flag or not? Okay, I thought they were going to come up with two and let everybody pick between the two. They're they're coming up with one, and it is they have said this. That one of their biggest things was it's going to have "In God We Trust" on it. That's, I understand that's the that only that is thing. a that is a deal breaker. That is a compromise, and that's a compromise I'm willing to make. Yes. not a religious guy. That is a compromise I'm willing to make. That's that's another thing that I don't feel like hurts anybody really. It doesn't hurt anybody so. at all. It yeah. doesn't hurt anybody at all. If you are an atheist or a non-believer, I think you can see that and not, not matter at all. It's yes. on your $20 bill in your wallet, and we're all just fine. Yes. Uh, I'll take all the $20 bills and $100 bills with thank God we trust on them if you're offended by it. I will gladly take them all yep. off your hands. We'll, we'll collect all of them. Shame my way. I am a cash man. Jumping back to the Patriots conversation real quick, Damien said, funny how Robert Kraft isn't serving his sentence for being at an illegal massage parlor, just saying, there is no sentence. For, I mean, that's. What would you like? Him, what? What's? I'm. I'm very curious about this. Honest question. Somebody who paid a masseuse for a happy ending. What do you think the appropriate sentence is for that? I. I would love to know the answer. Uh, Joseph jumped in and said, "I am sure the Patriots would document them asking him to cheat. Uh, for them, if they did it, best case, it would have been he said, she said. But in a world in which he said, she said." goes a long way. I mean, Tom Brady served four games because of he said, she said. We have no proof whatsoever of anything. It was just, we believe this. Yeah. Yeah, pretty much. Pretty much. All right, so back. Coming back in, the flag change. This is a big deal, right? Kylan Hill. So I'm not big on symbolic gestures, okay? Like, pulling... Uh, going with the wind off of your platform doesn't help black people. All right. Like yeah. it didn't, it doesn't feel, I don't like symbolic change rarely. Okay. Because it doesn't actually do anything. This is something I absolutely believe does something for our state, for the, for the men and women and the kids that grew up in this state that have to see it, see the winds of change are happening in Mississippi. Finally. And they are they are pulling the flag right now. Like it, yeah. it's they got pull, it got pulled Sunday. It got pulled from the state capitol. Got pulled from all the other capitol buildings, etc. Yeah. They are no longer flying that flag. Yeah. And the role that sports played in this is a pretty yes. big deal. I mean, we, it, we cover this simply because a it's our state and b sports made this happen. Yes. Kylan Hill coming out I, on and Twitter. I fully believe Kylan yeah. Hill made this happen. I don't think this was an NCAA or an SEC thing. I think I think one man found his voice. Yeah. No, it wasn't just him. Obviously, I think no. it, I think it started the movement. Right. He it started. started he yeah. started. Hey, listen, a lot of people have done a lot of good, but somebody starts things. He started this one. Yes, he did. He most certainly did, and it is. A massive, massive deal. He started this, the NCAA and the SEC coming out saying they won't be hosting events here. Look, Mississippi is not one of the wealthiest states in, you know, in the union. It's just not. We're the poorest state in the union, by the way. Exactly. So We, we, are, we are DFL in, in that. And, and the state cannot afford to have businesses refuse to come in and work here, have, you know, events coming to the state. They need these things. So right. 
It was a smart decision, both business wise and just from a human decency Mor- just perspective. Just a human moral thing. It's yes. just it's just right. There's no wrong time to do the right thing. We did the right thing. It happened. I can't believe it. I'm very glad. Um, and I I want college football right now so bad because I want to watch Colin Hill play. I, I agree with I you. I have talked to my friend, and I want fans in the stands because I want to go. I want to I, see I, the reaction to him. I have talked to two and three different friends who are season ticket holders at State, and I've told them, you pick a game. I'll, anything you need to pay for, food, gas, anything to get us there and back, and my ticket, I'll pay for it. I'll gladly treat everybody. I want I want to go to a game in Starville this year. I want to watch this young man play. Yes. Uh, Matt Fletcher jumped in, Fletchy, said uh, Kylan didn't start it. He finished it. It started with the state schools pulling the flag back in 20, uh, 2015. Well, okay, that's true, but yeah. it just died since then. I mean, nobody's really it, it 100% did. I mean, it, since then. I mean, and this, this was the – this was the tipping point, right? This was it, what finally pushed it over the edge, and he started the most recent movement, which in turn ended with Saturday legislation to change the state flag, which we never thought would happen, especially with the governor coming out just a week and a half ago saying, we already voted on this 20 years ago. We're not changing it. So the fact that we went that quickly uh, is is both promising and... uh and I'm, I'm just happy. I'm happy to see it. So, we'll move on the from win. that. I'll take the wins. Getting yeah. wins in this stuff is too hard. I'm not going to complain. Let's see. Damian jumped back in. He said, uh, this shows that the NFL is rigged. Tom Brady gets four-game suspension for deflate gate, but Kaepernick is suspended for a lifetime for just taking a knee. I, don't, I, can't, I can't have a conversation with somebody who's not reasonable. I don't think that this is – I don't think it's the same thing. I just I, well, you, you don't think it's the same thing. It's not the same thing, Gary. Yeah, it's I mean, it's not at all. Like it's, I don't know. 